All right, and then our last application video over exponential and logarithmic equations. So we've seen before the exponential growth, which is our initial value times e to the kt, where k represents rate, so instead of r, we use k sometimes. Instead of p, we might use p naught, but it's all basically the same equation. It's the continuously compounding equation. So this is our growth formula if our exponential function looks like this. Well, what happens if I multiply the inside of my power times a negative? That's going to flip it over the x-axis. And so that means our growth function actually flips upside down, where it becomes a decay function. So this is where our values are compounding continuously and either growing or decaying. And so the application that we will use of this, there's many of them, but the one that we're going to do here in this example is carbon-14 data. It tells us that carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,730 years. And so we basically want to write an equation using the formula that we just saw. Instead of P's, it's using Q's, no different. This is decay function because an item loses carbon-14 as we increase in time. And so that's why we have a negative exponent for exponential decay. And so we want to figure out this function in terms of T given this and this information. Okay, well we saw in the last video that if we wanted to double our investment, we would set the left-hand side of the equation times two. Well here, if our item has a half-life, instead of setting it equal to two, we set it equal to one half. So if we have one half of our initial investment, or our initial carbon-14 in this instance, is equal to our initial amount of carbon-14 times e to the negative kt, well, I know T is 5,730. And so what I can do then is I can basically divide by Q naught and cancel it out on both sides. And then I can figure out what my rate is. So this gives me 1 half is equal to E to the negative 5730K. If I want to solve for k, then I take natural log of both sides, so I can cancel out that e on the right. So I have natural log of 1 half is equal to negative 5730, and then okay. Divide by negative 730 to isolate k. So all I need to do is type natural log of 1 half divided by negative 5730 into my calculator. So natural log of 1 half divided by negative 5730. And so we get our k value is 1.21 e to the negative fourth. So very important here, don't ignore this e to the negative fourth because that makes a big difference. If you just cover it up and ignore it, the 1.21 is saying your rate is 121%. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what does this e make it do? Well, the e is scientific notation, so I need to move this decimal place left three units. So that means my k value is equal to 0 0.000121. And so this gives me my k value. And so now I have all of the information to come up with this model. That is q of t is equal to our initial amount q naught e to the negative 0 0.000121t. Okay, so now that we know that, that can help us answer part B. An archaeologist uncovers human remains at an ancient Roman burial site and finds that 76.6 of the carbon-14 still remains in the bone. 
So how old is it? And we're going to round it to the nearest year. Round it to the nearest 100 years. Well, just like we set it equal to 2 when we double it, or we set it equal to 1 half when we half it, if we have a percent, we can do the exact same thing. So I have 0.766 of my initial amount left is equal to my initial amount and then the rest of my formula. E to the negative 0.000121t. So now I just need to solve this equation for t, and that will give me time. I know that my q naught cancel out. I know that I can take natural log of both sides to get my e to cancel out. So that gives me natural log of 0.766 is equal to negative 0.000121t. To get t by itself, I just divide by this number there. And then I just need to type that in my calculator. So natural log of 0.766 divided by negative 0.000121. And so that tells me T is approximately 2203.0808. Or if I round it to the nearest 100 years, that is approximately 2200 years. So whatever bone that is, it's approximately 2200 years old. And so now you see the benefits of carbon-14 data specifically, but you most importantly see the benefits of exponential and logarithmic equations.